Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful projects from start to finish with easy to follow guides. Okay, so I'm going to show you my sweet as honey scrapbooking workshop. So just a disclaimer, I'm going to go through the supply list, but uh, I just got an email that uh, my order was delayed. So some of the supplies you're just going to have to see in the workshop because I don't know what's happening. So I thought I would just take a few minutes to walk through the scrapbooking pages that I created, the supply list, show you the files and everything that's included. And I'll just let you know that you could find out any, any more details that I might have missed on my blog at chriscreativelife.com. Always, if you ever need any information about a workshop or you're looking for a workshop um, or you want to know if I have a workshop for something, the chriscreativelife.com is uh, the portal to everything. Um, there is a, I think it's the second section over and it says workshop guides and you just click on it and you could scroll through there for ever. And that's just a section just for the workshop guides. Nothing else uh, creative at all is posted in that section. It's just the workshop guides. Okay, so like I said, we're in January. So there's two new collections from Close to My Heart. One is called Sweet as Honey, which um, I love because my family has like an affinity for bees. So both my kids are called um, referred to by their last name, which is long and complicated name. So they've always been Hannah B and Max B, Maxim B, or whatever you want to say. Um, so this was like, I was dying for something fun like this. So I'm going to shoot you down on my desk and we're going to walk through the supply list. I'll show you the files. I'll show you the pages that I created and We'll just get going here. Like I said, I was totally waiting for my order to come in and it didn't come and it doesn't look like it's gonna come anytime soon. So I thought we would just go ahead anyway. So my Sweet as Honey workshop will create four double page spreads, eight scrapbooky pages, depending totally on how you wanna count. So um, like I said, we'll just quickly walk through the supply list. So this pile right here is the files that you get sent to you when you order a workshop guide. So it comes to you, I don't do anything. I've got them all set up for automatic um, delivery now. <coughs> Sorry, anything new that is. Um, so you get, as soon as your payment is processed through PayPal, you get an email that says, thank you for your purchase and your files are in there. And all you have to do is download them onto your computer. How fast and sweet is that? Sweet as honey, maybe? Okay, so there's just a cover page. That's always just like a four shot or however many shots picture of the layouts finished. Then we'll go through the supply list. Like I said, <coughs> um, I was waiting for my sweet as honey cork shapes to come in but they're not here yet. So I'm gonna show you them to you on my layout. But so the first thing on the list is the paper pack. Sorry, the lights are a little bit bright and sometimes it's hard to see what I'm doing here. <laughs> okay, so I used the paper pack and sticker sheets. And so an interesting thing about this collection too, I just wanted to point out is all of the colors are so subtle that I think they go so wonderfully together, but you could add so many different things on top because everything's just slightly muted. So it's like mink and um, mink and shortbread and black and white and sun dance. Okay, so this, this is the sticker sheet. Tons of fun little icons and it's family themed, but obviously if you wanted different titles on your scrapbook pages, you could totally switch them out and not use these stickers, but um, love goes on forever. 
uh, World Famous Family Oh Honey. And then this super fun little banner with the bees on some of them. Um, I love that they brought back in hexagons. <coughs> um, hexagons are like a timeless shape. I love hexagons. Um, I love the puzzle of putting them together. Um, okay, so then I used the sticker sheet and paper pack. So this is the paper that goes with Sweetest Honey. So this has got lots of just subtle things to it. And then on the back side is like a newsprint. So super fun. And then there's this damask print, which I love. And then on the back side, it is just a stripe with just a little pin stitching on it. Super pretty. I like how pretty is just that subtle black zip strip with the little white strips through it, right? And then my love of hexagons and bees all in one piece of paper. So this is like a black and white hexagon pattern with the little bumblebee strip across the top. And then the back side of this paper is just got a, a shortbread background with the little tiny bees. So super cute. Lots of little different sizes too. Okay, so like I said, I used the paper pack and then I did use the coordinating cardstock. So for Sweet as Honey, the coordinating cardstocks are three black, three mink, three sundance, and three shortbread. So you can order it as a coordinating pack or if you have a ton of cardstock, then you don't need it. Just swap out your colors. And then a scrap piece of White Daisy for the journaling strips. Then I said the Sweet as Honey cork shapes. Like I said, mine have not arrived, but these are super fun. So they are um, adhesive fact cork pieces and they all come on a sheet put together and then you just peel, you can pull them apart and peel off the back and it's just a different kind of texture and they are not very thick. That's why I wanted to have the package to kind of show you, but they're not very thick at all. So you can see here, I don't know if you can actually, but this sticker is popped up on 3D foam tape and the cork shape is actually got a lower profile than my 3D foam tape that's right beside it. Um, and then I did use black shimmer trim because you all know I love the shimmer trim. Okay, so let's take a look at the layouts. So this is layout number one, world famous with the banners running across it, the damask paper, and this is on like a black background. And like I said, the fun cork shapes are all spread out throughout the workshop. So that is layout number one. And then here is layout number two. Oops, move this off of here. That's just the files. So here is layout number two. Oh honey, my happy place. So like I said, I really played up the hexagons on this layout, which is super fun. And then paired with like the solid stripes on this paper and then the newsprint kind of just blends into the background. So super sweet. So that's layout number two, and then this is layout number three, and I love this with one with the big B icon. Um, love goes on forever. So like I said, the titles are really generic, family-based, but you could also use it for so many other things. So this is layout number three. <clears throat> so, and then here is layout number four. So you can see here, some of those hexagon pieces right? They have the outline and then you can still pop out the middle piece and use it somewhere else. So for example, like here, this might be a piece that is popped out of the cork. So like it, you can see all standard size photographs, lots of room to add more photographs, or if you have more journaling, you could swap out one of the, um, photo spots for a larger journaling. If you have more photos, super easy to add flip flops to any of these um, photo spots because they are standard size photos, right? So four by sixes, four by fours, and three by threes all will take a flip flop. So like I said, if you have 20 photos, 
you could add way more photos onto this layout. Okay, so we're gonna go backwards one time. So that's the Sundance background, which I really love because it kind of plays up nicely on the little bodies of these bees. So then here's layout number three. And layout number two. And then layout number one. And then I'll just finish really quickly talking about what's included in the file. So when you order the workshop guide and you get that thank you for your purchase email, all these files are included. So there's the cover page, there's the supply list, some general scrapbooking workshop uh, directions, and then there's the general process for <clears throat> Sweet as Honey, your background colors so you know what you're starting with, and then detailed directions. So I have some before photos, so before you add all the embellishment on top so you could see this is just the plain background and this is what it turns into um, because sometimes when you're looking at the finished completed photos it's hard to tell oh is that zip strip in between these two pieces of paper or not so i go through all the layouts if there's there's little notes if there's something that i need to note there is suggested photo sizes, like I said, standard photo sizes, so you can very easily swap out the photos <coughs> sizes for whatever you have or add more. And then <coughs> also included are large photos and then little detailed photos. So when it comes to the embellishment part and adding your photos onto the pages, it's super easy to follow. And then, of course, here is the best part, the cutting guide, and it shows you all the things you need to know and more. Um, but you will have next to nothing left over. I think that's the only piece of paper of like the decorative paper you have left over. So that is like a two by five piece of paper. So, and then it does go through the cardstock for um, the photo mats and then the um, journaling strips. And that is what is included in the workshop guide. So if you've never purchased a workshop guide at some point, I would love you to try it and let me know what you think. Okay, one second. I lost my little box there for a second. So um, I hope you guys all have a great day. And like I said, I didn't wanna wait any longer for the cork shapes to come. I thought I would just come on and do the walkthrough and uh, show you them on the layout. So hopefully that was helpful. Sometimes it's a little bit easier for people to uh, see the pages and the layouts that it creates versus just looking at the static images on my blog. Um, once I upload this video, I do also add them into the blog post if uh, more recently I've started doing that so that um, if you haven't gone to my blog and go back later, sometimes you will have not seen a video and then I add it in later. So that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.